Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Uh, this week is minigame week, so most of these videos, actually all of these videos, will be consisting of these minigames that we've gone throughout the entire game to unlock, and they gave us way too many of them, so we have to get rid of all of these if we want to get 100% in our file. Uh, like I said before, we're going to finish up with Mara first. Kind of going in a backwards order with all of these uh, um, tenants, but I'm sure you guys won't mind. Um, I know I didn't actually show off my apartment or my pad right now. Uh, I think I'll actually do that in the last video. That seems kind of like in a very appropriate thing to do for the last video, so I think I'll just save it for that instead. And that is very unfortunate because I cannot pass her with that giant snowball in my way. And... Ah, dang it. Ah, oh, that stupid snowball screwed me up. Oh, well, at least I can actually do things a lot better now, because I don't think you're supposed to get caught in very many snowballs like I did in that attempt, so... Yeah, let's try this again. Let's just stay down here with Mara, and then... Speed up right here. Oh, oh, no. Dang it. Okay, that was annoying. I actually pressed up on the control pad to go inside that house, but it didn't register on time. So that's what happened right there. Oh, no. Dang it. Not that again. Dang it. Well, actually... Yes! Okay, cool. Okay, I was able to win that still. I still sucked, and I still got caught in all the same snowballs that I got caught in the first time, but... Whatever. I beat it. That's all that matters. Okay, so we get the uh, snowflake fabric, I'm guessing? Or snow mountain fabric. Didn't expect that name to come up, but whatever. Okay, so now we have Cozy Cabin. You would think that this level wouldn't show up in a marathon race, but there are a few sections of this where you really don't have to worry about the auto-scroll part of it. But we do have to race through the house, though. That is for certain. This can actually be kind of challenging if you're not fast enough. Thankfully, though, there's a part right here where you can actually easily win. Just do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mara kind of forgets that you have that ability, so... <laughs> it makes that section really, really easy. I think there's actually another level where you can do the same kind of thing and just easily get ahead of her. I think it's one of the last ones, too. Okay, so we get the knit fabric. That looks kind of cool. I actually did like the uh, fabric for that. Okay, next we have the frosty wheel. If I remember correctly, this level is actually pretty easy because you can just use the sled the entire time if you time everything just right. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I screwed up right there, but thankfully I didn't lose too much time. And there we go. That was a very simple one. And yeah, we didn't have a uh, Mount Snow, or whatever that third level was, because that was a Penguin Border level, and they didn't want to add a transformation level to it. So yeah, I guess that does make sense. They wouldn't include that. But yeah, we got the Snowland fabric, and now we're moving on to the Spaceland levels. First we have Future City. Well, 
thing I appreciate is some of these levels are actually pretty short when it comes to these games, and that is very well appreciative because you don't want to be doing these games forever. And some of these, like, last few levels are also pretty challenging, too. Oh, shoot. No! Yes! Oh my god, that was so freaking lucky. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I was able to do that. Oh, wow, that was, a, that was literally a split-second victory. Probably even less than a split second, in all honesty. Okay, so there we have the denim fabric. And I think they were actually kind enough to not include the uh, uh, mysterious UFO level where we had to deal with all the zero gravity and everything. I think they took that one out of this too. But we do have Tube Town, which I love Tube Town, as you guys are fully aware. Hard to believe I was just doing this level like three weeks ago. Dang it, messed up. That's probably going to cost me. No! Dang it! Okay, well, I'll probably have to do this again. Yep. Okay, well, let's do that again, and let's do it a lot better than what I did. Because <laughs> I was going completely the wrong way. This level can be kind of confusing, though, if you're not really sure where you're going. Oh, dang it! Stupid electricity. I think if I just get to this straight away... Aw, oh, dang it! God, why am I getting mad? This is not that hard. I'm just screwing up majorly. Okay, let's just calm down and do this. This is not that bad. I'm just sucking. There we go. Okay, finally. Whew! And just for fun, let's do this. See, the races are a lot easier when you're not getting hit every few seconds. I think that kind of goes without saying, but still. For anyone who didn't know. Okay, so next I believe we have the Meteor Shower level. Because, yeah, they skipped the Mysterious UFO. This one can also be pretty challenging if you're not fast enough, and, you know, the star platforms can kind of throw you through a loop if you're not careful. Then you have those fireballs. UFOs, get away from me. Thank you. Those UFOs could have seriously screwed me up if they hit me. And with that, we're moving on to Dreamland. After we get the galaxy fabric, the Super Mario Galaxy fabric, as I'm going to call it. And here we are at Wispy Forest. Oh, 
Oh, this one's actually kind of annoying. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on, go up! Thank you! Oh wait, it's gonna be close. Nope, I got it. Okay, good. Remember that one actually took me a few tries, just because I kept getting hung up on the Waddle D section. Thankfully that was not the case for this video. We get the Baby Stars fabric. Next we have Tempest Towers. Yeah, a lot of these stages are ranked 5, as you might expect. Especially this one. This one, this one could actually be... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, this one can actually be quite challenging if you're not careful with the wind and everything. Like, I'm already behind, considerably. The best thing to do is just try to get ahead as much as you can in the wind sections, where the wind will actually matter, and then you can be able to get here just fine. Yeah, I'd say the Wispy Woods one is actually kind of harder than that one. Okay, but next we have the Bubbly Clouds level. Or Cloud Palace, I think was what the level was called. Okay, Spinning Stars Fabric. Okay, yeah, this one's actually pretty bad. You have to do a lot of skipping in these uh, first sections where you have to use the grappling hooks. And try not to use these guys too much because the bouncing will slow you down. And then there's this part right here where you actually have to deal with a Krako, I think. Yeah, this is the Krako section right here. Just ignore everything you can and just get to the end as soon as possible. Oh god, that was close. And there, we got it. Whew! That was close, because I think I really should have gotten hit by Krako right there, but I was able to avoid him just in the nick of time. And this is actually the last of the normal stages, so after this we have to do, I think, just three secret levels with the races, and then we're done. So first we have Castle DDD. And this one's actually pretty short, too. Yeah, this is actually pretty close to the end, I think. Or I don't know, maybe it is like the entire stage. I think I just remember the stage coming down to the end when you get there, because like what you do there kind of impacts whether or not you win this one. Come on, run! Thank you.
No, dang it. You know, I was afraid of that happening. I think that was really the only trouble spot, though, because we're almost done. Yeah, because we're in the pink room now. And yep, just gotta climb up here and then I'm done. Hooray! And I hate how Mera always, like, comes up at the very end, because you think that... Oh my god, she almost beat me, when in reality, like, she's always set to come right as you grab the grappling thing. The funniest, though, is when she's, like, coming from the right, and then all of a sudden you grab it, and then you see her, like, coming from the left. It's like, okay, how'd you get over there so fast? <laughs> okay, so we have the Castle DDD fabric. And now we have the secret levels to do. First one is Mole Hole. And like I said, there's only three of these, so we don't have to do very many of the secret levels. Especially since a lot of the secret levels are transformations anyway. This one's not too bad if you know your way around this level. And there's a lot of easy drop-off sections that you can use to your advantage, like right here. Which I didn't really take advantage of. Just do your best to fall down as far as you can, as fast as you can. And then right here, well maybe not right here, but... At the very end, like, you have an easy drop section where you can use the weight. And that'll pretty much decide whether or not you win if you use that weight at the right time. What?! Okay, dang it. Okay, I got unlucky right there. It's because I hit that stupid chameleon, that's what slowed me down. Stupid chameleon. I'll never play Chameleon Twist ever again! I've actually never played that game, but I hear it's really good. It's an old 64 game. Yeah, I'm just trying to avoid the chameleons now, because they screwed me up earlier. Okay, yeah, I got it that time. Yeah, like right there. She was supposed to come from the top, but then she just appeared from the left. And there's like nothing but wall over there, so it's like, okay, where'd you come from? He's like, I was hiding in the wall. What were you doing here? Okay, so we got the Candlemander. I think those are the things they're called. So yeah, I guess they're Salamanders, not Chameleons. Uh, me and my animal biology. I have no idea what anything is anything. But yeah, I guess Salamander makes more sense anyway. Okay, so now we have Dark Mana. The Dark Mana. Oh, and I believe the last one's that Fossil Reef level. I believe that's the last one. This one's not too bad, though. Just uh, ignore the candles, because... Well, I mean, you can grab them if you want, but... You know, every second counts in these races. And you never know when you're going to need that extra second to win, so... If you don't have to waste it by grabbing the candles, I guess you don't have to. Okay, let's get over here and out of here. Oh, dang it! Forgot about you guys. You 
You gotta be careful right here, though. Because you have no idea when those guys are gonna strike. Okay, new racing stage. The last racing stage, actually. So yeah, we're, we're gonna be done with this in a second. Well, we have the pumpkin party fabric. And yep, here we go, fossil reef. And this one's actually kind of difficult, because like, you have to really know how the stage layout's gonna go. Otherwise, there's no way you're gonna win. As you could probably tell, we have to become Mr. Dolphin again. And there's especially one part in this that's really difficult. Because, like, it's where the bubbles kind of go through the walls a little bit. And you have to go, like, in the top right of the... Like, right here. This is another kind of example, I guess. Where you kind of just have to hope that you don't get stuck in a certain location. Like, right here. Like, I kind of... Eh, maybe not. I probably didn't screw up yet, but still, this is going to cost me a few seconds. Oh, wait, dang it! Okay, that was the wrong way to go. Shoot. Okay, yeah, like right here. This is where you can get really behind. And here's the hardest part right here, making it through all these bubbles. We actually did, no problem. Wow. Okay, good. And with that, we are actually done. Wait, where'd Mara go? Oh. I guess she was right at the edge of the screen, so she didn't come over. But yeah, we're done with all of Mara's stages. And to prove it to you, well, first we didn't get a message saying there was a new stage. And two, we can't go over anymore without going back to the beginning. So, yep, we're done. We're done with all of Mara's stages. Now, one thing you're going to want to do after you finish the all the minigames for each of the tenants is you're going to beat a lot. You have to beat a level of the game. And uh, I'd recommend Patch Castle because it's the easiest and it's the closest. So, uh, very quickly, I'm going to beat this level. And after you beat a level, like I did right there. You should get a message. Kirby, I've come over to play. Oh, this room is classy. So when you get that message, go over to your house, go inside, and the tenant that you just raced and beat will come over And he or she will give you a fabric to celebrate you completing their mini games. So we got the Mara fabric. And make sure you do that with every single one of the tenants. Because I actually didn't know about that in my very first playthrough. So I thought I was stuck because I only had like five fabrics left that I didn't have. And I had no idea how to actually access them. So I thought I was stuck. But it turns out you just have to beat one level after you uh, complete a tenant. And then you should get that fabric no problem. And yes, all five tenants actually have a fabric that they have, so make sure you do that with everybody. But now that we're done with that, we're going to pay a visit to Buster and play more of the enemy-busting minigames. I'm not sure how we're doing for progress on this guy. We only have... we've only beaten nine of them. I don't think he has 20 of them, though, so... I think we're kind of close to finishing up with him, but... It'll still take a little while, I guess. But yeah, I'll do like two or three of these games, and I'll probably call it a video after that. So this one, we have to defeat Mr. Chili's. Not very hard to do. You can tell when you get stages like this, where uh, 
they kind of just like ran out of ideas when they were um, doing these games. Because like a lot of them are just, you know, go into a very small space and defeat these guys. I guess there is kind of a small challenge to it, but not very much. The challenge here is watching out for the uh, being frozen. But yeah, that one wasn't too bad. And we're probably going to get the chili fabric for doing that. Or the Midnight Dot Fabric. Okay, that's different. Well, either way, let's go ahead and do the next one, which is going to take place at Frosty Wheel. I remember this one being kind of unique. Once again, we're defeating Chili's. So maybe we'll get the chili fabric after doing this one. And I really don't remember this part of the level in the actual level. Maybe they didn't... Maybe they included this just for this minigame. But yeah, that one's pretty simple. And yeah, I'll probably do one more, then I'll finish up the video. Oh no, we got the snowflakes fabric. Never mind. Yeah, I thought you guys were supposed to give out the frickin' enemy fabrics, but you don't seem to be doing that. Okay, so last we have Mysterious UFO. This one's very interesting. Because we have to defeat four enemies in 15 seconds. And there are no enemies in sight. Plus you have to deal with the zero gravity. And I screwed up. Let's try that again. This one is very short, though, so... It won't take very much time at all. I think I was supposed to use the parachute earlier, though. That's why I screwed up. Okay, yeah, there we go. Then just grab the UFO guy. If he let he be lets me, dang it! If you just let me grab him, I wouldn't have any problems. Although I guess letting me grab him would be very contradictory to what his plan of attack is. So I guess I can't really blame him for that. Okay, come on. Ah, shoot. Dang it! Ugh. If you would just reach over and grab him in the right place, I wouldn't have this problem. There, he's dead. There, I got I got the metal, there. <laughs> okay, yeah, they intend for you to grab the UFO guy, obviously. But I'm doing a very terrible job of that. Okay, this will be the last time I try this, because it's getting kind of ridiculous. There we go. Okay. And with that, I think I'm probably going to end the video there. So this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I will see you guys in the next video for even more minigames. Hopefully we're making enough progress here. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Later, folks.